Hey everybody. I'm so sorry that I am late and sorry I didn't get to come on today uh, at 730. Joy decided to take Eli to ball practice and then Zoe wanted to go so they just got me all off schedule and oh hey Teresa. So I was determined that I was going to stick with my commitment. Hey Natalie and I was going to come live tonight no matter what. So here I am. Hey Miss Lisa. Hey Christine. So tonight we're going to be painting a cute little baseball door hanger or a baseball mitten or glove. Hey Gina with some 3D attachments on it. Um, interchangeable attachments. Uh, if you didn't see the picture, I'll show you in just a second. I had to hurry up and wash. What? What a surprise, Carolina. <laughs> I know. I'm actually here. I usually, I almost said, you know what? It's late. And I said, you know what? Nope. You're not going to do it, Trina. You're going to go live. Hey, late night painting is the bit, the best. Uh, hey girl, I know you are tired. <laughs> Hey, just finished painting flow. Oh, Natalie, yay. I want to see. I feel like I'm having to whisper because everybody else is in the bed. But, um, so I, ooh, I did go ahead and paint one coat on my glove. So if you've seen the picture, you kind of know how this glove look. No, I mean, this late. Love it. Yeah, I know. It is late. This is like, I think this is like, hey, Tina, I think this is like the latest I've ever been on. Hey, Aunt Mary, what you doing still up, girl? Y'all know Aunt Mary's on here. Hey, Christy. So this is the baseball. And then we're going to have, I cut out these little circles. Um, That's the best. Gina, I know what you were saying, girl. So I have two of these, and I have a boy and a girl. Thank you so much, Carolina. And... So I said, well, I don't want to do just one because then the other one's going to feel like, oh, my mama don't love me. So <laughs> I said, I'm going to do two and then I'm going to make them interchangeable so I can switch them out on the nights that Zoe has a game. I'm going to put a softball, but then the nights Eli has a game, I'm going to put a baseball. So they both should be satisfied. You need that pattern? Gina, I will get my VA to get it on the website as soon as possible um, for purchasing. Be five dollars, girl. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna put one more coat on the glove here. Um, I'm using just. I love you too, Aunt Mary. Um, this is a brown. It's I want to say earth brown, and it's by Anita's. So if I turn it the right way, it may come out. I'm just squirting it right on there. My paintbrush is about dried out. Oh, goodness. So, let me put y'all down while I will be ordering me one. The only thing, Gina, is I haven't done, um, it's actually just the baseball glove. Um, I don't have the balls, like the round pieces on the template with it, but I could add that. But the, I actually used a, a paper plate. This isn't the one. The one I use is a little bit smaller, but I used a paper plate and just traced it and that's how I got my um my baseball and softball oh thank you Christy I'm so glad you enjoy them so I'm just putting another coat on top of this brown and like I said this is Anita's and I want to say it's called um earth brown oh yeah I got to plug my phone up it says low battery my bad sorry if y'all see my hand let me plug my phone up so it won't go dead all right let me see did i plug it up in the wall i think so all right oh girl i got one i just need the glove <laughs> there you go yeah and if you don't have you yeah, i bet i'm sure you can find any kind of round something round in your house that's big enough that would work for it and this is probably about like a two inch paintbrush here because this is a kind of a big area. If you have like a sponge, it's, it would work really good. 
with a sponge. I will be in the paid group, right? Yes, Carolina. Of course. Uh, I actually, Christine actually already put it in there for you guys, um, Carolina. So you should be able to see it on the wall. And Christine also um, created just a unit for the free templates that I've been giving you guys. So that'd be easy, really easy for y'all to find. I think it's in maybe like unit eight. There's a clump there. So, hey, Miss Marie, what are you doing up this late? I'm just gonna squirt just a little bit more there and bring some down here. I've already got my edges on this. So if you're painting and you already get your edges and you have to do another coat, make sure you always kind of check your edges because that paint will like get off of your paintbrush and get on the edges if you don't like go straight off of it. And sometimes I don't always do that, so, but I always check it anyway. All right, I think that's gonna be good. Watching you, <laughs> okay, behind on group post. Yep, it's in there though. So whenever you get ready for it. Well, I'm glad you're up and watching this, Marie. Alrighty. Haha, <laughs> I told you late live is when everybody's up painting. Well, I am till like three. Oh, Lord have mercy, Gina. I don't know if I could do it at three o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna try to flip my camera so y'all can see this exactly right. And then I'm, I won't really be seeing it. So I get, if I don't have my camera on selfie mode, kind of drives me crazy because I can't ever get it, the view right. All right, I'm gonna try to find another brown. I should have already had this out, but. Um, that's a dark brown. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix this brown and make it a little bit, um, I was gonna say lighter, but I think I need to do a little bit darker. Let me see how this burnt. I love watching you paint. Well, it look good, Miss Marie. Yeah, this is darker, so I'm going to try to, I just dropped it, try to do some, a little bit of shading going on here. Going to use a little bit of floating medium. Something new I've been learning, my, um, my insiders has taught me in the group, because I have not, I've always did like whimsical, I hadn't really messed with a lot of shading. So, um. They kind of taught me how to handle a little bit. I probably need to get a smaller brush. Do a little bit of shading using that medium, and it really does help with the smoothness of your your paint. It helps like your colors and stuff blend in a little bit more. Okay, and I thought I meant to print this out, and I didn't. So, oh well, we're gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna kind of take my paintbrush and kind of just mark my lines where you would think, like where your fingers, the fingers on the glove would be. And these I'm not like making like super dark. Um, like I said, right now I'm just really trying to get some shading going on. And then I'm gonna kinda come up and like blend it in a little bit. I need a little bit more of that medium. That light's got, I can't see. I'm gonna have to stand up so I can kind of see a little bit better. And I will be like adding like more highlights and stuff to this. So it's not just gonna be this brown doing all the, the shaping of the glove. Just trying to get get it to where it looks like it has a little bit of dimension going on. Hello, Amanda.
Yeah, I cannot see that. I gotta turn this light down. It was like putting a glare on here. And, and I still can't see, I guess, being at nighttime and my lighting's a little bit off. So now I'm gonna take my original color and kind of go back in and blend this in. The unit is called Templates. It might be the last one or the first one. I'm not quite sure. Thank you, um, Caroline. No, not Caroline. Uh, Christine. It's late, y'all. It's late. All right. Like I said, I'm just trying to blend this in, the original color in with the, the darker brown. Y'all do not judge my my blending skills. It probably takes me a little bit longer than other people that's kind of used to this. And get a little bit more of that darker color kind of get up here on the top. Hey Shelly. Hey, Gabby, what are you doing still up, Gabby? You don't got school tomorrow? You coming to hang out with Aunt Trina? Y'all, Gabby is my beautiful, beautiful niece. But I'm just trying to get it blended, blended in real good. Gonna add some more of that darker color coming down into the the glove to where it looks like the the fingers of the glove. Maybe I need to put a little bit of that darker color here to kind of yeah. There we go. That kind of made it there. All right, let's put a little bit more of the darker color. Where's my darker brown? I'm about out of this. This darker brown, this is by Alpha Barrel, and it's burnt, burnt umber. So I'm burnt umber. All right, let's put a little bit here. Then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to go a little bit faster coming around. So it won't be quite as neat. And then I'm gonna blend this in a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna take, I might can try setting down now. I might can take a little bit of the original color and blend this in more. medium going on so I can smooth it out a little bit better. Let's see. Let's get some more like that. I'm gonna blend it some down here where that color is kind of really sticking out. Okay, and we're gonna blend a little bit more on this side. And then we're gonna be done with the blending. How about that? If you let your paint dry, kind of like what I've done, you're going to have to use a good bit of that on, um, probably a good bit of the, 
the flooded medium. I'm gonna come down here on the bottom and I'm gonna kinda brush the, um, the darker brown down here. And then I'm gonna blend it in going upwards back towards the top of the, the glove. All right, so now I'm gonna flip this around. I know, I feel like I kinda need to do some kind of blending or put some of the darker color in there. So now I'm gonna try to blend this in and just, let me put it down. Hey, Miss Kathy, did I already tell you, hey? And now I'm gonna try to bring this around, I mean up, to blend it in a little bit more. put like some darkness going around these little opening areas here where the holes are at in the glove and I know that it's probably going all over my edges but I want it to kind of come out so I will fix that in just a minute all right yeah, so I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of get that. There's a clump right there. Okay, now I'm gonna take the medium and my original color and now just kind of blend it out. So it'll be on there, but not quite as dark, like not quite as bold. Hello, everybody. Sorry I'm running. Well, I'm so late tonight coming live and didn't get to come live at 7.30 like I had planned. But... Life, life, life. I got some. All right. Can, can y'all see that so far? I got some drips going on. So there we go. Let me see if I can hit that light. Maybe y'all can see it a little bit better without the glare. Nope, it's my light above. But it's, once it dries, it won't shine quite as much, and y'all be able to see that a little bit better. I do want to add, I think I'm going to try to add a little bit of, maybe not white. Let's get, I have this color called Warm. Looks just like a glove. Looks fabulous. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Carolina. Miss Shelly, love the shading. Thank y'all so, so much. All right, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to try this one. It's warm buff. You could probably just add white to one of your browns, probably your base brown since that was the lightest. Um, we may have to wind up fixing this, but we're, I'm going to try it. I want to do a little bit of highlighting, not highlighting, but a little bit of the blending. And I'm kind of mixing my regular um, color with it to see, let's see. And I'm gonna barely touch it. Like there, I'm literally like trying my best not to put a lot of pressure on this at all. And this is gonna help just bring it out and then maybe not have to do quite as many 
highlights with the white. I think I got a little bit too much there, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that. And then I'm going to take the original color and kind of go over it again. Well, maybe not. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Nope, not loving that at all. I should have just left it alone and go with it. There's a clump. Get off my brush. I'm sorry if y'all hear me breathing. My nose is stopped up and stuffy still. All right, did I mess it up or is it just kind of highlighted a little bit more? But anyway, okay. So now I'm going to take a round tip brush or no, let's try, yeah, let's do a filbert tip brush. I'm gonna use the small size four filbert tip brush and I'm going to do kind of like some stitches down here at the bottom, ooh, down here. And then probably some stitches up here on the top. So let me get some more. Yes, it's good, like a worn out glove. <laughs> the worn out glove is always better, isn't it? I kind of really, I'm not loving that up there, but maybe once I get my black highlights up there, it'll look a little bit better. So, I'm gonna do some like some stitches down here, and this is not gonna be dark enough, so I might as well go ahead and pull out the black. Kind of mixing this black and the brown together. Not like blending it together, but. All right, so now we're just, I just did like a little thing on the bottom. Now I'm going to do like little stitches up here on the top. Just like that. Nothing big or fancy. I kind of wish I would have done that on the bottom instead of doing like the swirly. Yeah, because I'm not liking that at all. At all. I'm taking it off, y'all. I don't have no baby wipes. So, see how you can make a boo-boo? Now I'm just going to take a paintbrush, and I'm going to get my original colors, and I'm going to go in and try to fix that. Because I don't like the way that, that turned out. Just gonna kind of blend it up. Let me try it when just doing like a little stitch look. I had a 
picture of a baseball glove. And I should have, I meant to print it out so I know exactly what I'm doing. All right, so, did a little stitch on the bottom, little stitches up there on the top. Now, let's see what else we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do the black highlights around the glove area here. So there we go. Ta da! Now we're gonna do some white. I don't know why I did that. Looks like it's got two fingers now. What was I doing? I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're gonna do some white. And I have not even introduced myself, y'all. I'm so sorry. So for anybody that's new, my name is Trina, and I am the owner of Trina Kulik Designs, where I make, not make, where I teach others how to take control of a jigsaw and paint and cut out their own door hangers. You never know what something is going to look like until you try it. That's right, Sharon. But that, that up there is, I don't know. I, I don't like the finger part. But anyway, it's, I may, this, y'all will learn a lot tonight how to fix boo-boos. <laughs> I think I'm going to blend some darker brown up here and kind of cover that black up because I am so not liking that black showing like that. I don't know how or what it was doing. And all this is gonna do is just kinda make it look like the top of the glove. You see how you can mess something up, then you can take the darker colors and cover it up. And it kind of puts a little bit of shading. So instead of starting completely over, I always try to kind of do something like this. But maybe y'all won't have to, y'all don't do, <laughs> y'all don't have to do stuff like this. But this is just, mm -hmm. Alrighty, that looks better. Now, I'm more satisfied with that besides those black lines being up there. Don't y'all think that looks better now? So, let me hold it back and kind of... I don't know, it's almost like my fingers. Maybe I should have went up further with my highlights and stuff. Let's see. I may wind up fixing that. Let me, let's go ahead and paint the baseball and the softball. And then after, if I still don't like it, I could do something. Yes, it's good. I, I read that. Then maybe after I might can, um, might wind up fixing it. So I'm just gonna start off with my white. So let's get a good coat of white. And I'm gonna do both of these white because my soft fall, that yellow, is probably probably needs a coat of white anyway because 
it probably it won't cover the first time and putting a coat of white on there with yellow always helps with the coverage Always turn it off your saw. I could cut it off with your saw and just have the painted edges. Yes, I could do that. But it's pro would probably be pretty easy. I'm trying to remember that picture, that image of that picture of the glove. It was it was a real glove, but it was like just a kind of like a which it was might have been a painting of a on glove, but it looked like so real. And it looked like they had their fingers, the fingers on the glove, done like that. But I might be, I don't know, I might be going crazy. But I'm thinking I could fix it by just shading in my with the original colors and it might wind up having like 10,000 coats of paint on there but that's probably going to need another coat I'm going to go ahead and get my edges Up with something to paint tomorrow. I've been, want, been trying to do things that I haven't painted yet. So, do y'all have any ideas of what I can paint during my live tomorrow? What would y'all want to see? Try to smooth this out. My paint is getting so clunky. Always try to smooth your paint out. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put one more coat. See that clump just came out of that. Yep, right there. Let's see, I might could add. this coat on here and don't have to add no more to it. There's a clump there. I think, I'm, I don't know if I just haven't been painting enough and it's got my paint, my paint kind of drying up inside of the bottle but I've never had like my white paint clunk up the way this is clunking up and it's got to be because it's in that bottle I've never had that problem thank you so much for sharing Sandra watermelon popsicle lemon oh a lemon is so popular right now Tracy, did you ever finish the, that scroll sign you started a, on? Tracy, I did not. Um, I'm still waiting on my niece to actually get me the stencil made that I want to go on that. And she has not yet done that. So, kind of at a, stand, kind of at a standing point with that right now. I need to message her and get her to... Um, to make it for me this week. All right, y'all. Um, gonna turn the blow dry on real quick. So. Cause I really, really do want to finish that.
some of the yellow on this. I have this, oh, this one glows. Oh, I so do not want to get one that glows. So I may not do it in that neon because I don't want it, I don't want it to glow. Yes, I really can't wait to see it done. Yeah, I bought, I picked, I thought I was just getting neon, and I got the glow, so I'm not using that one. Yeah, I'm so, I'm ready to see it done, too, because I think it's going to be really, really pretty. So, I think I'm going to try this yellow light. We'll see how it turns out. Dude, y'all, that upper barrel has a paint called lemon. <laughs> the color is called lemon, which is actually pretty. So, I'm going to try this color. The yellow light, and this is actually by Folk Art. So let's try it and let's see what color. Ooh, it's a bright yellow, so, and it's kind of thick. All right, this is actually a good color for a softball. It's thick. Even with the white, though, I think I'm gonna have to go over it one more time. Do you seal your signs after you have done? Me Becky, I sure do. Yes, I use Rust-Oleum Outdoor Gloss. But I always spray my edges and I spray the tops of my door hangers. And a lot of times, um, most time I paint the backs of my door hangers. So I will also spray a light coat on the back. Especially, I don't always, but, um, because if I use an outdoor spray, I mean, an outdoor an exterior paint, then um, I don't too much worry about putting the spray, the gloss on there. But if my paint that I use for the back is not outdoor paint, then I will spray the back with a light coat. All right, my white's got to have a one more coat. Don't even seem like my white's covering as good as it used to. I might be kept that kept it a little too long and didn't use it. So while these are drying I'm going to go over and I'm going to fix my glove because I'm not happy with it. And I know painting late at night is not the perfect time to not be happy with something that you did and you have to kind of fix it, but oh, I've got to fix it. So I'm going to set that brush to the side. I'm going to set this over here. We're going to set this. I'm going to set that right up there. So let me battle this thing right here real quick. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Anywhere I, I see there's a clunk of paint still wet, I'm gonna kinda just wipe it. All right, so now I'm gonna get a paintbrush and I'm gonna go over this hot mess here I got going on with my original color and the darker color. So let's see if I can get it fixed, y'all. Cause I really don't, I don't like that. That's already looking better. And I 
I will start over right through here, this area. I'm so sorry, y'all. But I just can't leave it like that because I did not, I did not like that at all. Did not like the way those highlights and that looked at all. I'm going in my light color and I don't need to be. So we may have to let this dry. I think this size, the, the thumb part's good. I thought it looks good. You thought it looked good, Miss <laughs> Kathy? All right, so now, yeah, I don't know. There was just something about it that just wasn't, I don't know if it was the, the lighter highlights, like the white highlights I put in there, and it just threw everything off. And then it looked like the tip of my glove just wasn't, wasn't doing. So I'm going to just do my hold like the whole shading thing again. And then um, that's gonna be it. And I'm not gonna put like the highlights. I don't know, I just wouldn't love in the highlights at all not on the tips of the fingers. All right, that's looking a lot better, a lot better. Kind of looking about like it was when I first started doing the shading and stuff. Which is going to be covered, a lot of this through here is going to be covered anyway with the baseball or the softball. All right, that y'all, that's so looking so much better. That is looking so much better. And I do have to come over here and get this because I'm not putting the white highlights in this anymore. You like that better? Yes. I do too. The other way might have been okay. But I just, I don't know. There was just something about it that just was not, was not doing for me. And some of my things is still kind of like coming through. So I'm going to try to get them covered. Okay, 
Yes, this is so looking better. Maybe take a little bit longer. Looks good now. That looks a lot better. I didn't like the fingertips either. <laughs> no, I didn't either. Um, where did I, oh, I got in my light color there. Yeah, it just, it was definitely throwing it off for sure. All right, let me see, do I have, I think that side's gonna be good. And I'm just kinda, gonna kinda go just over that a little bit. Maybe put a little bit of that light color. So what, let me see. I could add like the little stitches. Tina looks good now. All right. I can add some of the little stitches here, here, and here. I don't know if this, I'm gonna kind of do a uh, mix my black and brown together to get like a dark brown. Let's put, let's see. Kind of like that. And maybe it needs one on this side right there. Does that look better now? Yeah, I think that looks really, really better. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more darker black to these X's. So they, uh, the stitch work, I uh, kind of pop out a little bit more. So like that. Awesome, looks good now, a lot better. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take my black though, and I am just gonna kinda go over to, like put some highlights on the top of them, instead of doing it on the bottom, kinda like what I was doing. So this is just like regular little highlights. Let me switch my brushes. I may wind up putting just a little bit of black in here, like that. All right, so the glove's done. I'm not gonna add any white, I don't think. I may, but I'm gonna get my baseball and stuff first, then we'll go from there and we'll see. So there it is, and once it dries, y'all can kinda see a little bit better without all the shine going on. All right, so let's set that over there. Now let's see. This is like taking forever to dry. We're gonna have to watch paint dry again, y'all, because I'm gonna have to get the blow dryer on these two right here. All right, so let's get these blow dry real quick. I can go ahead and get my red out. I don't think it needs, you don't think it needs any white? You love it, Miss Susie, thank you. Okay, I won't add white then. <laughs> Cause we have the baseball on there and it'll be white. Get some real red. I don't know, this, Oh, it's a gloss finish. That's why I was, it looks like it's really wet, but it's not quite as wet as it looks. I'm trying to figure out if I want to put play ball 
or either put their names on these. Would y'all softball? Y'all think I should put their names or just put play ball on them? I wish I could put like their number, but their number like changes from year to year. There is like never the same number. So I definitely can't do a number. They would probably like it with their names. But I may, I might would like play ball a little bit better. If you were doing it for your house with your kids, what would you do, names or play ball? I just got paint on me somewhere. Well, I can't, yeah, like with their number, Carol, I don't never know their, their number changes every year. Names, play ball, I love to watch you. Do your lettering <laughs> names in the names in the year. Um, their number names their names. Okay, I think play ball. You know what I could do? This would be really cool. Um, cut out a bat, and I could put play ball on the bat. So when I'm not using a baseball, um. I can just put a, the bat on there It says play ball and then put their names on the balls. I could totally do that. Hey, Miss Ann, play ball, smaller letters for the name. So you're saying do both, um, Miss Kathy? Like do like play ball, then I could put Eli and I could put play ball and put Zoe. So I may do both of them, may do both of them. That would be neat. That would be. I may do that. All right, so I'm thinking this is pretty dry. And I'm going to get a round tip brush. No. Yes, I'm going to get a round tip brush. Let me see. Is this one too big? That's a cool idea you just said. You love. Thank you, Carol. That would be too much. Not with the the baseballs and the soft, like not on here, but like instead of putting like one of the balls on there, doing um, putting like the bat, like take off the base, the softball or the baseball, and just have a bat on the glove, but definitely not like two all together. All right, so now I'm just going to, and I'm probably, probably going to use a little piece of chalk to kind of do a little bit of the lines. That's a cool, okay. I read those. All right, so we're gonna have that on this side. Put their name in small spot by stitches. Alright, my softball is not quite dry. So, I'm going to probably try to go with a smaller brush to do the next, to do the little stitches with. Just putting the little stitches. Mm 
and there's stitches on that side. Glad you're still on. Don't want to miss it. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here, Lisa. All right. So now, let's go this way. All right. Ta-da! You're so good, Felicia Ann. Oh, I actually drew a little bit of a, th like my lines through here with chalk. So if you've ever need the kind of just a little bit of guidance, chalk is like really, really good. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. Now let's come. Uh, I'm gonna have to dry this real quick, y'all, because it's not drying. That's dry enough. Okay, let's try it and see. All right, let's turn it this way. does crafts drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> I can't live without my Mountain Dew, Miss Carol. I absolutely love my Mountain Dew. I'm actually, I'm, I am probably addicted, addicted to Mountain Dews. Like if I don't have one, I feel like I am gonna have a fit until I get to the store to get me one on the way to town to get me a case. <laughs> Kathy says, not me. Miss Betty says, me too. Yeah, I just, you know, growing up though, I was like that with Pepsi. I had to have, um, I really love Pepsi. Okay, so we went this way, so now we're gonna go this way. These are cute. You know, I have I've made a baseball before, but I've never I've never done a softball. Never made a softball for Zoe, so she should be really excited about this. In which I didn't make this the baseball for me for us it was for it was an order all right so there's so now we got the softball and the baseball really cute they are super cute thank you Carol thank you Tracy let's just see how they are going to look oh no the glove here. Alright, so we're gonna have this and then I'm probably gonna put it like right here. So that's gonna be really cute. So with the baseball, do y'all think that we need any kind of white highlights up you know in here? Coffee here used to drink a three liter of dew to get through midnight shift. But once I got pregnant, I quit. No, I, I can't drink it. Okay, so no white highlights. All right, so there's the white baseball, and this is not dried yet. 
And here's, I'm just trying to buy a little bit of time to y'all for these to dry. So Miss Kathy says no, okay. And then here's the softball. That is really stinking cute, y'all. So no, no, no highlights. All right. So, um, let me see, do I like, ooh, like it that way or that way? I think I like the, I don't know, looking at it, okay. So looking at it from the, on the camera, I am liking the stitches this way. Or should we turn the stitches going up and down? I don't know. I like it up and down, too. Oh, love it, love it. Thank y'all so much. My granddaughters have black gloves. Oh, do they? I do coffee, wine, or water. Yeah, I do Mountain Dews. I wish, I so wish I was a coffee person, y'all, because coffee smells so delicious. I mean, I love the way coffee smells. So side to side, the stitches going this way or going this way. Um, I don't know, I think maybe going down across so you can add their names. Yeah, if I'm just adding their names, I could do it here. But um, so what if we did like play ball and put like Eli? Eli has such a short name, just E-L-I. Up and down, slanted. Let me see. Slanted, up and down, across, so you can add their names. What does it look like with the stitches tilted? Not vertical or horizontal. So just tilt it like this. That would be cute. And then put their names. Me too. My husband drinks coffee. And it does smell so delicious. Writing will be easier across. Yes, slanted, 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 slanted. Yes. That's my fave, yes. Yes, slanted. All right, so every, I've had a lot of people say slanted. So, all right, so we will paint on it slanted. Um, looks like it's catching the ball. Okay, looks good. Yes, slanted. Okay, we will go with slanted. And my red's got to dry, y'all. So we will do this one slanted. Watch me have intentions of doing it slanted then wind up not doing it slanted. I'm gonna probably have to put it on there to kind of keep it, keep it to where it's slanted. So I think I may, I put lots of sugar in my coffee. I do too, I put sugar and I put cream. I probably put about four to, well probably about four um, teaspoons of sugar in my coffee. And I really do like, uh, my nephew's fiance or girlfriend bought some cappuccino mix and it's the caramel and you do half and half half coffee then half of it y'all that stuff's really good too it, it really is that's really good all right oh dry i'm gonna blow dry y'all i hate for y'all to have to sit here and watch paint dry but do you cut your do you do your cutouts yourself Yes, ma'am, Nellie, I do. With a jigsaw, and that's actually what I teach my insiders in my inside scoop group. That's my painting tribe I have. Um, I teach them how to use a jigsaw and cut their own door hangers out. I just started drinking my coffee black. Oh, Tina. I don't know if I can handle black coffee. I can barely handle coffee, period, unless it's like sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. 
So, we're going to do it slanted. Doing it slanted, their name's going to go into the, the red stitches. Um, we do play ball. She is an awesome teacher. Oh, thank you so much, Natalie. If we do play ball, it will be... I might want to do like play... Mm, I'll have to do like play ball and then maybe put Zoe on the bottom. I don't know about doing both of them. So I may just put Zoe and may just put Eli. Just Eli's name is so short. Just name. Okay. Just the name. We will do just the name. I'm going to... Alright, so it's going to hang like this and we want our stitches slanted. And then her name straight on here. Alright. I'm going to do it kind of in a, like a kindergarten font. Love, love, love this. Thank you, Kathy. Just name. Okay. Um, so I want to do it pretty basic kind of and I just smeared some of my red. Alright. Where is my good flat tip brush? I'm gonna Alright. Just name. And I'm gonna do it black. We're gonna do it black, 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 black. My, my black's even clunking up. I gotta get my butt to painting more often so my paint won't be drying up. Alright, so let's do Zoe. Alright, I'm about to have to get serious, y'all. Okay. Let's do Zoe. And I'm starting off with a smaller brush. This is, this is like, this is a size one. Y'all, this is like a really, this is a short, short brush. My, gra my granddaughter's name is Zoe. Oh, yay, Miss Sharon. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to go ahead and kind of thicken this up a little bit. I'm not going to put it too, too thick. Because when I start make, trying to make it too thick, guess what I do? I start messing it up. I've got to admit that O was pretty perfect. Okay. I'm going to put, what are they called, hyphens? My paint is so not dry there. I want to do my little, I think these will just kind of give it the, kind of a baseball look in a way. So like that. Zoe, awesome, super cute, perfect. Thank y'all so much. Now let's put Eli going slanted. And let's do his name. 
and I'm gonna kind of his is gonna be a little bit bigger than Zoe's because his name is so short. I may wind up doing a capital L in his. Yeah, I'm going to do a capital L. Just because his name is so short. And kind of make his a little bit more wider and stuff. hyphen there. Let's do one there and there. Alright. So here's Eli's. And we're still going to put Eli, the highlights in there. My only grandson is Eli. Oh, that's awesome, Carol. Absolutely darling. Awesome job. Cute. Thank y'all so, so much. Looks great. Awesome. Y'all are making me feel kind of good. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm gonna do some highlights on the names. Oh, uh, my highlight brush is in the water and I'm not gonna get it. No, I don't want to use that one. Where's my good one at? I'm not going to use my angular brush for doing these highlights. I think I kind of like working with a round tip brush when I'm doing a smaller area. Looks great, great. Thank you, Natalie. Um, since I just finished that, I'm just going to go ahead and get Zoe back over here. Excuse me. I thought it was still some, more, some white in that, but there's not. Okay. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to go over her whole name. I'm not just going to highlight just the downstrokes and upstrokes, I mean like the downstrokes or nothing like that. I'm going to go around and kind of get in her whole, all the lettering. Just because I think it looks more, I don't know, maybe ballish. So there's Zoe. Don't you like it better slanted? I do, yes. I think it looks really good slanted. That was a great idea. I don't even know if I would have thought about it being slanted. Love the highlighting. Thank you. All right, so let's put some highlights in Mr. Eli's name. Let's go ahead and get that. Uh, up there, the little dot. All right, so there's Eli's. Ballish. <laughs> All right, I am, yeah, I've messed my little paint up right there a little bit. I, mm, goodness. A little bit of that white paint came off of my hand and got on the glove right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do, I better move this before I really mess it up. Great job. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some black, I think I may put some black wiggly lines going around. 
on the baseballs. Let's see. Because um, we kind of went plain, or not plain, but we didn't like do the white highlights with the on the glove. So I do want these to like be fun, I guess. All right, there's no need to do white highlights on that. So let's let's mix and make a tiny bit of a gray color. You could make them look dirty from the dirt. Yes, um, I wish I would have done that before I like did their name. I'm just making a little bit of a gray to come over on Eli's. But I am, I do, maybe the gray will kind of show up a little bit better than that white. On this. I do want to, I'm going to add the wiggly lines. So I'm going to keep it, keep them almost kind of whimsical looking. I may not add it on the baseball, but I do want to add some on this, on the softball here. And I'm not going to add it like all over it. I'm just going to add it like here and there just to kind of I smear. I'm going to go over that right there because I just smeared some of that red before it dried. So you see, that just makes it fun. I think the kids will like it. You're very talented. Oh, thank you so much, Carol. Dry brush it. After it's completely dry, kind of go over it with dry brushing it. That could totally work. That could totally work. I may wind up doing that and see how the kids like it. Zoe kind of likes, I don't know, since they're so young, I do want to keep it a little bit, you know, just kind of fun, I guess. Dot, dot, dot. Yes. All right, let's go down a little bit. I'm going to do a little wiggly line there. Dot, dot, dot. And as y'all can see, I am going over a good bit, like between my lines, just so they won't be like completely going around the whole thing. Well, I mean, they're going around the whole thing, but just so they're not like connected. And for no reason, just because. All right, so there's Eli's. Hey, Stacy. And that's it. And y'all look at all those paintbrushes that I used. So that's all we're going to do. They're going to dry. And I will spray them. So was that a good choice on doing the the slanted? I really like the the stitches being slanted. So I'll put it close. Of course, the if y'all see like my chalk mark, I'm you know I'll get those off. Dun 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 dun. So and I'm so sorry that y'all had to sit here and watch me like. Uh, fix my mistake with the gloves and the highlights. But that's a good lesson learned because it showed you that even if you make mistakes, there's always a way that you can fix it. You don't have to toss it and get rid of it. Um, so, I hope y'all learned from that. <laughs> Precious, so, so cute. Thank y'all so much. And there's Mr. Eli's. 
I'm going to get you a little bit closer so y'all can see his. And like I said, this right here, that's my chalk. I will get that off once my paint's completely dried. All right. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, Amanda. All right, it does look like a glove. It really does look like a real glove without the highlights and stuff. All right, so what I will do, y'all, I will add, oh, I don't know where it's at. I will add some industrial strength Velcro and put it on the back of here and put it on the glove. So then all I have to do is pull it off and then put Miss Zoe's softball on there. So this is super cute. I really love this. I like this. Let me look at it real quick. I can see it from the camera, but that is super cute. I really do like that. So before I get off of here, I want to ask anybody, how much are those? Gwen, I do not sell finished um, door hangers anymore, but you can purchase the template probably by tomorrow as soon as I get it added to my website for $5 if you cut your own door hangers out. Knocked it out of the park. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. Um, but Gwen, um, I've got some, um, some ladies that I'm sure could probably hook you right up with one of them if you don't paint them yourself. Okay, thanks. You're so welcome. All right, so ladies, I'm going to hop off of here. And if y'all have any questions about my inside scoop, remember um, it is closing on the 10th. And once it closes, I will not open back up until August. And then after August, it won't be back open up until 2020. So now is the time to get in. I am going to flip my camera back because my face looks like it's all sideways when I when I had the camera flipped that way. All right, so thank y'all so much, ladies, and I will see y'all sometime tomorrow. So good night.